Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Just, uh, doing some casual wall pouncing as you do. Not really a big deal. We are in arena mode. It took one episode until we're in arena mode for testing. It's a new record. I want to show off some stuff. I got a lot of feedback on the uh, 0 0.5 shellag looks at an options menu for 25 minutes and does nothing else episode. That was a surprise. Thanks for all the feedback and all of the seeming enjoyment of that. We're not going to go through like all of the options, but in general, I will say I turned on most of the options that I was like wondering about and stuff like that because like what people were saying, it, it kind of seems like for the most part, the options are more like almost more what they intended for the update to be like changes they wanted in the game, but they just added a way to toggle them in case you don't want those changes in the game. Which is a very cool way of doing it. I like that a lot, like the alpha reds and stuff. Apparently that's that's just like what they're supposed to do now. So we have all that on and many other things. But there are probably some things I will turn off once we like test them out a little bit. So case in point, we have wall pouncing. So let's talk a little bit about wall pouncing and the like directional spear throws and grabbing spears from walls. So first off, Wall pouncing, in case you're not aware, is kind of a cool mechanic. At first, it felt a little bit like like this uh, climbing thing uh, that I can't do now. That kind of thing. That when I was first trying it out, when I was first practicing it, it just felt like there's no way. This, this is just too ridiculous. It doesn't make sense to do it. You're not going to be able to do it in any real scenario or anything like that. But I feel like I've kind of gotten wall pouncing down fairly okay now. Oh, not sliding, though. <sighs> I say that. There we go. Ah, okay, not all the way, but yeah. I kind of have it down. It's, it's an interesting technique. In case you don't know how it works, it's... You pounce into a wall from any, any surface. I found, find this stone heads map to be, like, the best practice place for it, because it even has some, like, visual tells. Like here, if I pounce to the, the right here, you hold into the wall and then tap jump again before you hit the wall, which is kind of the, the tricky part. You don't hit it as you're hitting the wall or like when you're on the wall. It's honestly, when I'm on this pole, that's when you press it. It's like super early and then it actually works like most of the time. So you can kind of get it down fairly consistently if you just like press it earlier than you think. And then if you want to climb up, you obviously have to like, I'm holding left and then right and then left and then right and just timing the jumps like right before you uh, hit the wall. So it's kind of a tricky thing. And the reason it was removed was just because I feel like for most players, you're just gonna do that accidentally and then launch yourself off. Like if I do it from up here and there's like a, an abyss behind me and I accidentally do that, I'm dead now. I just fell into the abyss and you know, that was would probably be quite frustrating, but I'm having a lot of fun with it, so I think I'm just gonna actually keep it on for now, and then we'll see if I just end up dying to it a lot, then we'll turn it off. But it is a fun mechanic that you can, in theory, make use of if you can just slide leap. There we go. Like here is a pretty nice example as well. Uh, I don't like this beehive. Uh, give me a sec. Oh, wait, that seems to be something now. I was spamming like jump and stuff and throw. Did that actually like get me out faster? Because I thought that was a thing, but then it didn't seem to be a thing. But maybe that's been changed in Remix. I'm not sure. But yeah, just like imagine we're in this area and I can't get up to this this thing without wasting a spear. But oh, I don't want to waste a spear. I don't have a spear. Sure, I could climb up here, but imagine this ledge doesn't exist then wall pouncing actually is pretty useful for that, because we can actually do it with only a single wall pounce. And then you just, well, it's two, I guess, but like, you can also just wall pounce, get on the wall, but then, yeah, you're like upside down, so you can't really wall jump. I'm not sure if you can like, right yourself in some way, but I guess two wall pounces, and then you're like, up there, and you can 
you can probably pull off some pretty cool things like that, you know. So, ball pouncing, pretty damn cool. I'm gonna keep it on for now and we'll see how annoying it gets. Because, yeah, you, you can get it down. It's tricky, but not impossible. This is another good practice spot because it's about, like, right as you're about to hit these poles, you press the button. So, pretty neat stuff. Then we also have the upwards, oh, upwards spear throw, which looks pretty stylish. And, I mean, that could be kind of fun if we're, like, fighting a bird or something, just doing that into them. Not super useful. I was also practicing on some drop wigs, which we'll, uh, we'll take a look at. And, yeah, it is stylish. Probably not very practical. And I don't know if it works in 5P. We'll see, I guess. And, like, that... In, if it works in 5P, I feel like that is the best use case for it. But then also, we now have pull spears from walls. And honestly, I was kind of... I thought it would be more than this. I thought it would, like, have a an animation where you had to, like, you know, yank it out for a little bit. So it wouldn't be as easy to just, like, just grab it. Because, yeah, this feels... Probably a little too OP, I feel, because you can just do this and then just grab it, throw it, and then just climb up. I'm sure you can do it, like, in a much easier way as well. But yeah, it's just, like, infinite climbing, assuming the wall is straight, which, sure, like, most walls are probably not straight. But I'm going to keep it on for a little bit, but I don't know if I'm going to actually keep it. That seems just, like, a little too much for me. Spears are plentiful, and, like, if you accidentally place a spear in the wall, you kind of deserve it, I suppose. So, I don't know. We'll leave it on, we'll test it out. And then, uh, I just wanted to go back to Warehouse. I had a little practice range set up, just to show off the whole up spear thing. It's kind of interesting. Hello, man. Yeah, that's a good location for that. So we just do, like... Well, I missed. Okay, one more chance. Uh, let's go over here. This one is a hard position to do it in. Oh. Ah, no. Hold on. Let's restart. Get new positions on them. Hey, guy? Okay. Like that. You can do that. I don't really think it's very realistic, though. Like... Why do that when I can just, like, okay, here's a, a one of them. I just slide past and then just throw the spear, and that's it. Like, there's no reason to be so fancy, but it is it is very fancy. So, maybe we'll end up doing that. But yeah, I think that, that was pretty much all I wanted to do in arena mode. So, again, we'll uh, probably turn off the, uh, hold on, the spear thing. But yeah, I have almost everything on at this point, and in the assist thing as well, we have Wiggle Out of Grasps, and we'll see, and Centipede Protection, and whatever else. So, there's a couple things that are just there for, like, accessibility and stuff that I'm gonna leave off. Also, sad thing about the Regents thing, I did look into that. Apparently, like, we see this is uh, Gourmand, I think, and it seems like you're supposed to be able to swap back to Hunter and Monk and uh, Survivor, and see their maps, but it just seems like that hasn't ported over properly, and they've been kind of radio silent on that front. There's been, like, a bunch of threads about, you know, not transferring over saves and stuff, and they have commented on those, but specifically about the region map not transferring, we haven't heard anything, so I don't know if they're gonna fix it, and if they do, I imagine I would have to, like, delete my downpour save and then re-import the old one, so we'll have to see, like, how far I get into it at that point, because... I did do a lot of regions exploration in uh, the base game. It would kind of suck to lose that if they are managing to port it over. So, I don't know. We'll have to see. But yeah, let's go back to our fat boy. In the utter darkness. I swear this has been made darker. I'm pretty sure this is like way darker than it was in, uh, in the original... So, what do we do with this guy? Do I want to, like, try and transmute something? Oh, I'm tired. Yeah, it definitely feels like Gourmand gets tired a little too quickly for me, but we'll see. 
We'll see how it all plays out. Uh, how did we normally get up here? Do I have to spear here? Kind of seems like it. What? What do you mean? What? What do you mean? Why would that not attach? Are you... Okay, you are rested. I wasn't sure. Oh no, there's a thing to climb up. Yeah, I can't see that. God, it's so dark now. Also, I have, like, a light that's kind of, uh, causing glare on the screen right at that point. Oh, don't do that. Oh, don't do that. So, yeah, I guess we're going this way. Into memory... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> into memory crypts. They're pretty loud. I'm really liking all of the, like, quality of life stuff as well. Like, the... the quieter shelters and uh, all of that stuff. God, it's so nice. I mean, it probably won't really affect most people. Go in, fat cat. But as someone that makes videos, it is so much nicer. I'm just gonna eat this jellyfish. It's so much nicer to be able to, uh, like, normalize the audio in the videos. I had to... I For 141 episodes, or well, 139, I did go through and manually make every single, like, shelter and, uh, grab it, oh, shelter and gate quieter because they were so loud, so it's not a, a lot of work, but it's nice to not have to do that now. So yeah, I'm a fan. And yeah, it seems like we don't need to just, like, eat meals as gourmand. It's just, you just need to eat the things it's saying. Like, we need to eat the yellow thing, or maybe I have eaten that, and it's counting that. I'm not entirely sure. It seems to be based on, like, the cycle. But I have eaten a jellyfish, so maybe it's like you have to eat all of these things in a single life. Maybe you have to, you know, capture them and take them to a shelter and... Get the biggest feast of your life, or something? We'll have to see how all that happens. Yeah, I should be using the slide thing. Memory Crypts looks... Oh, no. Memory Crypts looks pretty similar. Can't really see any major difference. I don't like you going to the right, though. I would prefer it if you would go left. I mean, I guess I have the blinding thing, the flashbang. That, God damn it. That still happens a lot. Just like throw one over here, just in case. That was a pretty big leap. Rest up quick. Oh god, yeah, that's gonna be hard to, like, get used to. He feels very slow. Yeah, I am right side, the right way around. And he feels very slow in tunnels. Just in case, why not? Uh-oh. Oh, this is bad. Don't I have one in my stomach? Nope. What? What was that? I got a squid in my stomach? Okay. Well, damn. Still have no idea what the top right thing is, though. I thought it would be, like, the whole meal thing. Which it probably is, but, like, why would I only have two pips then? Like, after I ate another thing and then hibernated, it still only said the same thing. So it seems like... 
Maybe you have to eat the yellow sludge, like, first every time, and then eat the other ones, and then it's like a final one you have to eat. I don't know exactly. Also, apparently for some reason the, uh, the tutorial, like, loading screen tips are just broken. They only work in co-op or something, so doesn't look like we're gonna be getting any loading screen tips. And he's tired. I don't know if I should just eat this jellyfish. I mean, I, I guess I want to, right? As like having eaten a new meal. And you're tired. It's hard to slide in these, like, oh no, these screens with really uneven terrain. Man, he is slow in tunnels. I can't even boost in tunnels at all. Only upward. Guess he's too fat for that. Okay, so can I swallow this? Yeah. I do want one of those in there, for emergencies. And we're tired. Of course we're tired. Yeah, getting those corner boosts is, like, much more important on Gourmand, it seems, because he can't really boost normally. We're tired. Let's just get over here before I rest. So yeah, like, slug senses apparently only works, like, in the screen's that have multiple screens, like right here. I think they're gonna see me here. I would be able to see them here, like off the screen, yeah, to the left there. That's slug senses, and I mean, that's pretty insignificant. You're not really gonna be looking on your map when there's like someone that's off the screen and you can hear them. So slug senses doesn't seem like it's that impactful to me. We're tired. Kind of want to... Oh, no. Gotta go. Okay. Good. Eat this flower. We actually get karma flowers, unlike Hunter at this point. Ow. Oh, God. He can slide so fast, he, like, bonks his head. Let's take it safe down here. Shouldn't we be at the centipede screen pretty pretty soon? I can't I can't boost now for some reason. Yeah. Is it because I'm tired? No? Are there like oh hello. Are there like specific tunnels that are too thick for him? Yeah, here we go. So, should we try and do something? Is there like a rock here? Maybe? Do we have anything to pick up? Only spears. And I can't do it with, with the spears, right? No. 
Not with a spear. Rock? Oh! A little late, but sure! Okay, let's actually get this out of here. And then swallow the light. In case that ends up being useful later on. And then wait, did we have another rock here? Yeah, let's do it again. And it's a lantern again! Oh man! So is that actually a thing? Is it alchemy? Can you actually learn the combinations? Oh boy! Lamp plus flash- what the hell is this thing? What? Lamp plus flashbang equals whatever this nonsense is. I'm eating it! Yummy! <laughs> I don't know what that was. Okay. Oh, here's uh, another one of these. I need a little more food, yeah. So... Let's drop these. Can't see the centipede. Where'd the centipede go? There's one all the way up there. And he's got another one. Where's the one that went in here? Half time? Oh no, are they just bugged again? They're just like sitting here? I mean, I guess I can flashbang. But I wanted to eat a centipede. Maybe I should just take two flashbangs. Like, a spear isn't gonna do me much, much good here. Oh, I can't really get this, can I? There we go. Can you leave, please? Nope. They cannot leave. Uh-oh. This guy's gonna kill me. No? What? What is wrong with the left guy? He didn't see either flashbang and he just like let lets me go. Man, they are weird. And I think I have the collectible up there, right? Where do we want to go up here? The left side? No, don't get tired now. Oh god. At least we have a lengthy cycle, but I still have to get somewhere. Alright. Got a spear. And a second spear. What was... What, what? What's up with this thing? Why does it look so weird? Is it... Oh, is it showing that it's a passage? Or a, like a gate? The like... The tunnels leading to gates now have a different unique icon? A gate icon? That's neat. And now I have to not miss these jumps. But now, finally, first time we get to see how visible are the uh, bottomless pits now. I hope they're fairly visible. Honestly? I hardly even see a difference. I can't really tell. I mean, yeah, I, I can tell. There's a gradient, but it's still kind of got the same issue that, like, these dark, really dark screens kind of make it blend in. As opposed to the bright open screens. Kind of want to 
see what alchemy gives me from these. Can I do it on a pole? No. I can't I can't do it here. Uh So that's one of those. Yeah. But then I could try this and a fruit as well. So you can kind of just like cycle through stuff. There's probably different categories. Like is this going to be a lamp? God damn it. This might turn into a lamp. It might be like you know, fruit plus junk item equals equals flashbang and then flashbang plus junk item equals nope. That's yellow sludge. I mean, I guess I wanted that, right? Yeah. What does what does that do? No idea. But okay, we got that. I'll eat the the fine. Wait, actually, ah, uh, whatever. I was thinking maybe we should save it since I had like a half. But there we go. We made it to the exterior at least. And yeah, let's see if the blips change. Oh. What is that supposed to indicate? What is all this? Is this the stuff that attracts bat flies? That looks like a smoke puff? A beehive? Is he winding, like, food around the spear? I'm not sure, but nice little image. And yeah, these look like cave paintings, which I have heard, like, it, it's kind of impossible to avoid this, but that, like, these things, most of the new slug cats take place, like, in the past relative to the other ones. So I guess it's kind of... Oh, shit! What's this? Oh, wait, is that the passage progress before Survivor? No. Oh, no, here's the passage pro progress, the Wanderer. Oh, is that, like... Oh! Is that, like, if we've successfully eaten every single thing within within a region or something like that? So what we have to eat now is one of the, like, uh, the hookshot bugs, right? The grapple worms? Maybe something like that? And then it counts as, like, oh, you've now conquered the food in this area. Or we have to do the final one. Yeah, we'll have to see. But something is happening here. Something is changing. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Looks like we're gonna be on our little chubby buddy for quite some time. I'll see you next time.